what is up tarot tribe it is the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading in this pick a card reading we're going to be looking at the next step in your soul journey which you guys voted for i think was the second highest vote on the community tab so if you guys are not following me on instagram at the tarot priest there's only one instagram and the community tab where i'm going to be posting further more feedback for some of the votes that you guys are requesting for the next pick a card reading so make sure that you take a look at the community tab and on the community tab i will be posting more feedback and references for the next pick a card reading so if you guys want to vote or submit your request for the next pick a card reading please do follow me on instagram at the tarot priest and also pay attention to the community tab so in this video we're going to be looking at the second most voted request and that was what is next in your soul journey so this is going to be a soul food message this is going to be deeper insights from higher self regarding the next level or the next step in your soul journey um, i don't know why i just said level but i definitely feel like many of you guys are going to a higher level in this next um in this next phase of your life and it will require you to evolve and shed some things that no longer resonate with this newer version of yourself speaking of your true self in the next webinar we're going to be talking about embracing your truest version of yourself so if you guys are interested in that you can find that information in the description box as well so if you guys are new shout out to all the new subscribers thank you guys so much for being patient with me i'm in the last stages of my integration so i am going to be making an appearance here very very soon so thank you guys for being patient and waiting to see my face so in this video i'm very excited to get to the soul food messages if you're looking to go straight to your deck you can find that in the pinned comment down below or the description box we have four different decks you can choose from what is next in your soul journey so what is next in my soul journey is going to be the next question and again this is higher self messages regarding the next phase in your spiritual growth or soul growth so we have four different decks you guys can choose from we have deck number one deck number two deck number three and deck number four if you guys want to jump right to your deck you can find the pinned comment down below that allows you to go straight to your deck let's hop into today's reading and see what is next in store for your guys's soul journey all right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what is next on your soul journey. All right, let's see what you guys have here. We have the four of Abriel, queen of Gabriel, and your overall theme is you're not for everyone. So yeah, July's message could have really resonated with you. It doesn't have to be because this is definitely a timeless reading. You're not for everyone means that you're definitely going to be embracing more of your uniqueness and realizing that some of these unique traits are not really resonating with some of the people around you. So this next level is taking you to a queen position. So this queen position is going to allow you to be much more compassionate, uh, nurturing and an independent with being able to trust that this path is not a lonely path like there it's not that you're going to be alone because i'm definitely sensing that there are going to be some people that could be falling away from your crowd falling away from your soul tribe in this next phase in your soul journey so realizing that you're not for everyone this would be embracing all of those things that maybe people don't have in common with you or the things that maybe you suppressed the weird sides of you the geeky sides nerdy side for some of you guys i'm definitely feeling that let's see what this is about king of cups fascination yeah and six of wands victory so this is really really good and then last but not least we have the queen of michael you know exactly what to do the benefit of, of experience a time for your career rather than your relationships so yeah many of you are in this next space in your soul journey it's about your financial fulfillment and success and it's not exactly the money as much as it is the freedom that the finances are going to allow for you okay so i do see that there are going to be some victory um, that comes from some of these pivotal changes you're making right now. So some changes that you guys are making right now are going to affect the next few years. And some of this is investments. Um, some of this is starting that project, starting that foundation. Some of you guys will look back at this time and be so grateful that you followed your intuition in just getting it done. Um, and it doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm hearing that too for some of you guys. Like it does not matter how long it takes. Some of you want to to do certain things in this lifetime and you are looking 
looking at the schooling or you're looking at the obstacles or maybe what you have to do in order to achieve it. But I definitely feel like you're going to be victorious. Life energy. Yeah. So the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Let's see if there's any more information about this. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, because look at all this. This is about your value. So if you guys were drawn to this, this is a lot of value and self-worth, okay? And how you feel about yourself and the value that you're bringing is also going to resonate with how much finances you are attracting, okay? Because remember that finances and money is just the face of value. And so how you feel about yourself is very important in order to feel good about receiving money. So if you guys did not catch that abundance webinar, you guys can find all that information down below the abundance power pack in the description for some of you are looking to break through these limitations and also attracting more money. But most importantly, understanding that value in your energy is what's going to attract many things in your life, many ideas, um, more finances, business ideas, plans, yeah, I'm definitely getting some good vibes here. Okay, let's see if there's anything else for deck one. Yeah, beyond illusion. Huge spiritual awakening. So this is a judgment card, okay? Some of you guys could be releasing judgment of self. I'm definitely feeling like there's some judgment of self here that needs to be relinquished, okay? How you see yourself, seeing yourself as more value, having more. It's what I keep getting for you, deck one, having more. Spirit is saying you're going to higher heights. It's requiring you to embrace more of who you are and become more fascinated about the things in life, okay? Things in life in general. Anything else here for deck one? Next in soul journey, much more trust, lots of trust, abundance, yeah. So what I'm feeling for you is this is, again, financial freedom, but this is the finances that are allowing this to occur in your life this is taking you to a place of much more happiness and joy because of the victory that you're gonna have let's see what else is here it's time to go fairy spotting it said that seeing is believing but in fact the opposite is true believing is seeing and i love this because it is true many people believe that seeing is believing but the truth is is that until we believe it we will not see it before us Okay, so some of you are working towards really just being able to see yourself in a victorious position, being able to see yourself in a royal chair. Okay, you guys have a lot of prestige that's coming through this deck. So this spiritual awakening that you that you're going through is not just for anything. Um, you know, it's not just for, oh, it's another spiritual death that I'm going through. You know, a lot of people are like another one. You know, there's levels to this. Okay. And I'm just seeing this next level is going to attract more abundance and more helpful people, better plans, and also more finances and victory. So it's going to require the shift in you to believe this so that you can start seeing it. I can follow the trails of good feeling thoughts. I love that. Okay, we're gonna get into this message. See the overall energy? Yeah, anxiety. Okay, let's see what this is coming from. Messages for deck one. Next in soul journey, why is anxiety here? Thank you. Participation, four of wands in reverse. So there could be something that is out of alignment that you feel like is not where you think it should be. Um, it could be a person, place, or thing. It, you know, take what resonates. But this anxiety, um, there's a couple of things here. One, it's how you're going to do this. Okay. And again, we talked a lot about that in the abundance series, how you're going to do this. And you have to understand that you're not doing this alone. Okay. That's where the spiritual awakening is coming in so that you can see and feel that you have support. So part of this awakening is to shift you emotionally so that you can feel that you're not co you're not doing this alone. You're co-creating. You know, you have desires and spirit wants to fulfill them. Universe wants to fulfill them. But I am seeing that some things are out. You feel like are disaligned or out of alignment. And spirit is saying that that's not your concern. 
that it will come together in unity and harmony very soon. Yeah, I'm feeling the breakthrough and we even have patience here. So it's in the reverse because, you know, this is basically what you might be not seeing at the moment. But I do see that there is going to be a breakthrough with patience with this situation that you could be concerned with. We have the master at the bottom. So you are the master of your reality. You're learning that in this next level in your soul journey. Most people have put anything that earns money in the category of the things I have to do. And that is why the money often comes so hard. So yes, exactly. It's not that you have to do it. So you're switching that and having more of a love for it because of the freedom it brings you. So it says, and that is why money is often hard to come. If you are wise enough to follow the trail of good feeling thoughts by looking for positive out outcomes along your way, then you will come into a vibrational alignment with who you really are, which is abundant. Okay. And with the things you really want. And once you do that, the universe must deliver to you your desires. And so you're following the good feelings, the good thoughts until you can hit the uh, vibration of feeling good about having more. It's really about having more, receiving more, much more abundance. Let's see what your other message was for your next phase in soul. Yeah, what is the Ningling trying to tell you? So there is a feeling, an intuitive feeling that you will have about certain people in your life, certain decisions that you must make in order to get to this place of, it seems like fulfillment. Let's see what else is here, where you're going. Yeah, it's an adventure and you're also coming up as the wolf, the pathfinder. So dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song, manifest your child dreams. And so with your travel dreams that you guys are going to be manifesting, this is part of uh, your, your soul desires to be free. Okay. So deck number one, if you were ever wondering about your purpose, your soul desires to be free, to be adventurous, to celebrate, to enjoy. Okay. Messages. Yeah. Look at this. The world card again. Okay. You guys are definitely going to be breaking some cycle here and will break. Some of you have already broken cycles off of your life this year, 2021, we have 21, um, just more than you ever would ever know. I mean, huge, huge, huge shifts. And sometimes because we don't see them, we think nothing's really happening. You've made decisions that has changed your destiny forever, just in this year. And some of you are still making these decisions. Very, very powerful. Okay. Um, yeah, look at this. <laughs> That's crazy spirit. What? There's messages coming in. Spirit has been trying to connect with you. Deck number one. Um, let's see what spirit has been trying to say, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? So spirit is trying to definitely reveal many messages to you uh, with the judgment here. We have it twice. And I always say there's no such thing as a coincidence. And this is definitely a moment again for you to see that spirit is trying to communicate. So what I'm hearing is to pay attention to the moments. You know, if you guys are seeing certain numbers, paying attention by just being aware. Okay, so seeing beyond what's right in front of you, seeing beyond what you believe you can achieve. See beyond that, see into more, see into more, more traveling, more exploration, more fun, more victory, more abundance with patience. Patience, not with the universe, patience with yourself. Because remember, we are the ones that are resisting everything that the universe has for us. So you're going through a spiritual awakening right now. And it doesn't have to be painful. What are some of the things they're going to experience in this awakening? Intensity. Okay. We have comparison at the bottom. Spirit saying, don't compare your journey to others. Okay. Don't compare yourself to others. You are one of a kind. Nobody shares your perspective. You are one of a kind. Deck number one. So this is also knowing thyself. So I'm definitely feeling that some huge revelations are happening. Okay. And they're very beautiful. So the revelation is to get you to go to an adventure, to also take this journey with confidence. Okay. Um, loyalty and bravery, very important for this next step. Those are like the two keys. If you come to this door and it's a spiritual awakening and you're like, oh, whoa, tarot priest told me loyalty and bravery. Okay. This is definitely coming into handy. Then I would say, yeah, loyalty, bravery, two things that are definitely going to come in handy in this next phase in your life. Okay. Loyalty so that you can resonate only with those family friends that are treasures to you, only those and loyalty. Again, it's not from this practical sense. It's a higher perspective of loyalty to themselves. 
okay? People who know themselves and are loyal to their own word can be loyal to you, but it's not about being loyal to you in an ego sense. This is about resonating with people who have the same integrity, who have the same consideration, um, who have the same dreams, and they're loyal to them, their true self, so they can be a loyal friend to you. So there's a much higher perspective of loyalty that you're learning with just your friends and your family. So the base chakra, I'm really feeling a lot of foundational things that are shifting. Um, and it says you are more powerful than you know. So this is all to get you. So everything you're going through right now in this moment in your life is to get you to also create a path, but for you to see just how powerful you are. And sometimes we do manifest certain obstacles just to prove to ourselves that we can be victorious, just to see it. Again, that's what you're learning. You don't, you shouldn't have to see it before you believe it. Cause then you have to go through all of these things. You know, some people believe they have to have a degree before they can be victorious. And then they go and get the degree and they realize, oh, well, I was already victorious. The degree is just the aftermath of validating what I already am. And so again, this is some deep, <laughs> some soul messages, some deep messages about who you truly are. Okay. And so definitely not waiting to see yourself do it before you can believe that you can. It says, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So you have strength. <laughs> and I love this because it's strength, yes, in a practical sense of perseverance and being able to go through so many things, but you have the strength to love. And that's real strength because to be angry is easy, but to be vulnerable and loving and to have a love that endures uh, past people's faults is a gift. And so I definitely feel like you're learning a lot about who you are and who you're becoming. Um, and I definitely see that many people are going to either be like calling you a, a, a tribe teacher, cause I'm definitely feeling like you have those vibes. And if you haven't shifted there just yet, you know, that revelation will come, but I'm definitely sensing that. So it says growing our self love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. So again, this is looking at yourself in a graceful filter and understanding you are meant to be in this moment of your life, releasing that inner critic, that judgmental inner critic, and embracing your soul's joy, okay? You are loved and you are already there. So if some of you guys are worried or looking back into some of the decisions you've made, Spirit is saying you are in the right place at the right time. The only place and the only direction to look now is up or forward, so. I hope that this gave you guys some clarity. I'm really, really honored to be able to bring you this message, huge, huge shifts. And I hope that I was able to also uplift you because I'm seeing that you're a very, very strong individual, very strong leader, and you need support too. And you deserve to uh, have that moment to be vulnerable as well. And so I definitely feel like you're embracing more of that energy, which is beautiful because you deserve that. So if you guys chose deck number one, hashtag down below, I deserve it. If you guys affirm and confirm this message that you received today, moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in what is next on your soul journey. Let's look at the overall theme for deck two. What is next? Weight of the world, keepers of the earth, you are not alone. So I definitely feel like you guys are going to be feeling some vibrations here soon, maybe getting some visits in your dreams, maybe feeling some presence. Um, this is also outside communication. This comes from numbers, symbols, certain signs you see, um, certain animals, certain resonance that you're getting with that. I do see that there is communication coming in for you on your soul journey. This is more of a comforter, comforting feeling of safety and protection and just assurance so some of these doubts that you are having in, in just life in general, I definitely feel like there has been messages that are being sent to confirm your protection, safety, and assurance, okay? Now, I also see that you, if you chose this deck, you can heavily be an empath. Okay. So you could have been drawn to this stone because you are heavily connected to the energy of others. So meaning you could 
this this goes both ways because empaths could desire to be alone more because they realize they need to be recharged or empaths could desire to be around people because they are being charged so it can work either way for you it's almost like a superpower <laughs> is what i like to call it so it's really really cool um but this the, the part that's not so cool is just absorbing people's energy and carrying it with you. So there is a sense of needing to release. So I definitely feel like spirit is wanting to you to release some of these things by letting you know that it's not your job to make this happen. I don't know what this is. Take it as it resonates. It's not your job to make this happen. It says it's not yours to carry. And I don't know why I'm thinking about just you taking on so much and it's brave of you and it's beautiful, but embracing the outside uh, existence of the universe, God, whichever you choose to believe your guides is very important. And I'm also sensing that, you know, having this exercise or some way, it could be through a spiritual bath, a spiritual cleanse, lighting candles, whatever makes you feel like you're releasing. Some of you I'm hearing balloons could even help you. Dark balloons, maybe black balloons they're showing. I don't know why they're showing me this. Okay. Black balloons that you can release. Uh, maybe make a note, something that you want to release, let go of, um, something that's really heavy. You know, these would be really, really heavy things that I'm sensing. And then also some type of practice that you can carry along with you to constantly just assure yourself that you are being protected. That's why the crystals are always good um, around your wrist. I'm sensing some of you maybe have already have some of this or maybe have been thinking about that. Go ahead and get that. I'm definitely sensing it's for you to see that. And it's just a reminder every time you see it of uh, protection, safety and assurance, which is pretty cool. Spirit's definitely looking out for you deck too. So that's something that spirit is saying. And your, your spirit guides are coming off as very down to earth. This is not like an uptight spirit guides that you have. They're, they're very down to earth, very understanding. So, and very open to communication. Let's see what else you're going through. Okay. We have the mastership. So some of you are definitely mastering some of these abilities that you have, unlocking them, kind of having an intuitive feeling that maybe you do have a gift. You know, some of you, I definitely sense that there could be some intuition and some revelations coming. We definitely have the moon. So you could be a Pisces. You do not have to be a Pisces, but the Pisces is here. Now the moon lets me know that this next level in your life is going to reveal more things about yourself. Now you could have already known these things, but maybe they were suppressed. They're coming from a sense of your innocence, your childhood. So when you had dreams, um, before you became the adult, getting back to that, definitely with the moon card, there's a lot that you don't know about yourself. And I also want to see um, why the moon is here. Because there's definitely something that's going to be revealed. Now, another thing too, is that what's being revealed is your strength to persevere. All of the doubts that you have of yourself or maybe of achieving certain things are definitely going to be revealed in the sense of showing you that you can. Okay, yeah, guidance. So yeah, your angels are here guiding you. That's where most of your strength is coming from, um, especially for you, deck number two, is through this angelic guidance. Could be through dreams. Again, it's protection, existence. So this is the magician. Okay, so anything else for deck two? slowing down so some of you do have psychic abilities and some of you have already embraced them with the inner voice a lot of high priest energy a lot of psychic abilities very very strong powerful intuitive i'm sensing um even if you don't know it you are already attracting it so you could give someone the right gifts um some of you probably aren't good gift givers but you might give the right book and someone's like oh my gosh what you recommended ex was exactly what i needed it's one of those type of things where you just happen to deliver exactly what they need whether it's a couple of words that you wear on your shirt whether it's you a picture you take there's something intuitive about what you do that maybe you're overlooking that other people do definitely see here yeah believing in magic so that's that's the best part is when we don't believe in magic and it's just all all around us and so i'm definitely feeling that the more you believe in magic the more that your reality is going to shift right magic synchronicities right coincidences we don't believe in those 
So when the right song comes on at the right moment that you were thinking of something or something happens in that moment, you were looking for an answer and somebody calls you or a text happens or a song. So we are learning that synchronicities are a sign of magic. So if something happens, you see 1111, this, this is a magical moment because out of all of the times you've looked at the clock, what are the chances of it being 1111 or 111? So that's where this came from is the, the magic. But then now we're starting to see a lot of people kind of over using it like, oh, 1111. I know some people who are setting timers again, that defeats the purpose. It's allowing, not controlling these things to happen in your life, but being open to allowing them to happen. And once you do that, then you will see everything is already aligned and synchronized. If you just take a step back, that's where the magic is. All you're doing is staying in alignment with what feels good. It says, open your eyes and see the magic that's all around, especially in nature. It says you are part of nature and you are magical too. So the more you believe in magic, that's crazy. Look at the bottom of the deck, magician. So here's an example. Thank you, spirit. We have the magician, okay? We have magic and now we have magician and the mirror. Okay. And what's crazy is we're talking about you as the magician, but we're also talking about you, which is the person in the mirror. So is this a coincidence or is this a synchronized message that came directly from the guides directly to you? Now it's just taking a deeper look into how crazy that is. I'm following my intuition, feeling good. I create the decks, choose the elephants. You just so happen to choose this elephant to get this exact message. I feel like sometimes we overlook the magic, but it's right there. What are the chances of this being the magician and me shuffling this on site? Okay, so this is about being aware of the magic, being aware of this magic. Anything else on the magician? Yeah, new vision at the bottom of the deck, seeing the magic, seeing it from a different perspective, okay? So yeah, it's, there's no such thing as coincidences. We're learning that's, that's the start of spirituality, true spirituality. We have the two of Ariel. We have a lot of financial things that are coming up. So I'll get definitely start switching into that. We have financial constraints. Okay. We just did that abundance power pack. So take advantage of that. If you guys are looking to release some of these limitations, attract more finances, you can find that in the description box below. You can find each individual section or you can find the entire thing, but I'm definitely seeing that you're breaking free from some of these constraints. Now let's see what this is about for deck two and their soul journey. Now the importance of finances, as I mentioned in the other deck are that it allows you to have more freedom and to manifest exactly what it is that you want to experience here. So yeah, I definitely sense more vacations. Some of you could just want to travel, enjoy, stress less, right? Um, worry less. And that's what you're here to do. And so there is a maturity that's happening in the growth of your finances, how you are nurturing your finances, how you are caring for them, where you're putting your finances. Your finances are also important to your journey here as well. And it has nothing to do with money and it has everything to do with just allowing you the ability to live how you want to live and to get breaks. So this is requiring you to see life from a different perspective. That's gonna be the biggest soul shift that I'm seeing for you is you're being challenged to see yourself in a greater light and see life in a greater life. Some of you could be working overtime and still feeling, um, yeah, that's what this is. It's not, it's not so much the money because I sense that you guys know how to make money. It's more so of having more time. And that's what I'm seeing here, having more time and having more fun because your life is not intended to work, 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 work into the ground. You are here to enjoy life. And so that's something else that you're coming into the re revelation of. Who are you becoming? Yes, I love it. Thank you, spirit supernatural you are the ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity so what this is about and what this is saying is that you are more than what you think you are okay so this 
this feels like an initiation that you guys are going through, maybe an initiation of spirituality, getting closer to your soul, um, understanding more of how that works. And then when you're able to see this, it also gives you the strength to see that you can do anything you want to do. Anything you want. Messages for deck two about their soul journey. Thank you. The lovers and the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because working multiple jobs is not the answer to more finances. It's not, there's easier, there's an easier path. There's an easier way. Be open to that guidance is what I'm hearing. Okay, be open to that. Why is the lovers here? Okay, huge shifts in your love life. If you guys are here, deck two, huge shifts in your love life. Unexpected love, unexpected love is what I'm hearing. Deck two, unexpected love, tower. Unexpected in general is what I'm sensing. Um, yeah, it just feels like an unexpected thing. So some of you who are single and waiting, I definitely feel like this is a part of your soul journey to meet this person. You guys, this is a divine connection that's the universe is bringing together for the purpose of the benefit of humanity. Okay, sometimes we think this is our person that belongs to us. No, this person I'm sensing for some of you belongs to um, a community. So they could be helping, doing a lot of spiritual work, or they could be looking to master. It seems like they're on the same path as you. Um, you guys are both gonna discover a lot of things about your soul and being with each other and together. So I'm definitely sensing this as part of some of your purposes and past coming into this next stage. Anything else for deck two before we get into these other messages? Thank you. Yeah. The hangman is here twice. Coincidence, two different decks. You know, see, that's what I'm saying. Spirit is just on point when it comes to the messages. It's just sometimes we miss them. But I definitely feel like you guys are going to have more of an awareness. Your third eye is opening. And that's just being aware of more than what you see physically. And that could be challenging at times. We have the page of Gabriel. So definitely something exciting is getting ready to shift. It could be your purpose, your also you're, something that you're very passionate about. So this is going to really give you the bravery and the optimistic point of view to go after it. Anything that's exciting and adventurous is what you are here to follow, okay? This is what's bringing these opportunities, excitement and adventure. So if you get invited to certain things, take, get out of that comfort zone I'm sensing and follow some of these passions and see where it leads you. My every story is attracting it's vibrational match. So you are attracting what you are being, okay? So it says every thought that you think is vibrating at a very personal frequency. By the law of attraction, that thought is now attracting another thought that is in its vibrational match. So if you start with just one bad thought about yourself, it could definitely be about yourself. Yeah, judgment. It's about yourself, judging yourself. Okay, where can I least release my judgment right now? And that one thought takes you all the way to completely talking you out of some of you guys, content creators, posting that video, writing that book, telling that person how you truly feel, speaking your truth, asking for a promotion, um, telling your parents you don't want to go to college. I'm just tapping into many, many different energies here. I'm seeing that some of you guys are having the courage and the bravery to follow what it is that you're passionate about and what you want to do. But some of these ideas and dreams may not line up with what financially makes sense, but that's not for you to figure out. It is just for you to follow these exciting, uh, passionate adventures to see where spirit is leading you. And it says, and now, those combined thoughts are vibrating at a frequency that is higher than the original thought. So when you attract another and another until it eventually becomes powerful enough to attract a real life situation and manifestation. So something that you think about over and over and over again is where you're giving your energy to. Think about where you want to be, what you want to become, who you want to be in this life, who you want to be with. And, you know, and if this doesn't have to be a practice that's disciplined. This is just feeling good about the things that are coming. And this is going to raise your frequency to allow them to come. And as you're doing this, 
on a regular basis of just focusing on that vibration of feeling good about money coming in and you didn't have to work hard for it. See, you already have attracted money. You know how to make it, you know, you have a job, get a career, you know that part. But now this next level is allowing more freedom and allowing more time to come in. And what that means is you would have to focus on what brings you joy and ease and there will be the right career for that. For some of you guys, I'm hearing the right career for that, okay? But I'm definitely sensing that there is a new path in your finances to bring more financial success. So if this helped you guys, please do leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video, deck number two. This is all about believing. So if you guys chose this deck, hashtag I believe, this is a confirmation that you're putting out to the universe to confirm that you believe that this is possible. So start focusing your energy on the impossible so that it can become possible. All right, guys, I'm moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in what is next on your soul journey. Let's see what the overall theme is. Earth, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So many of you are definitely experiencing a reality separation of just feeling like an outsider. Usually this happens when you're going through some type of expansion, your third eye is opening or it already has been opening. This is more so of like a light worker energy of feeling like you have a home elsewhere or feeling the desire to make earth home or better would usually mean and indicate that you're a star seed, a light worker. You are here, um, not really feeling like you're of the world, um, but in the world. So learning how to be human is definitely relatable when it comes to spirituality and evolving and enlightened um, being. So I definitely sense that you're an ascended one um, and you're releasing a lot of soul patterns, contracts, and past, past lives with many different people. This is allowing you to fly, be free. But I'm also feeling that people around you, you may have a desire to free people around you because of their binds and that then binds you. So that's the biggest thing I'm sensing is having that boundary to not get bound with people who are bound because of their um, constructs, because of their decisions to to live in a limited perspective. You know, it could be many, many things, drama, low frequency, um, things that they attach themselves to. So spirit is saying that, you know, you're learning to definitely fit in without fitting in, uh, having the balance. And in, even embracing ego, you know, we talk a lot about the ego is bad or, you know, it has low frequency energy of fear, but we are still living here on earth. So we're still in the body. We're still the avatar. So we're learning to embrace that, to become one. Again, it's always to become one and in sync is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the other theme is for you. I can pivot from feeling bad to feeling good. So many of you have been going through a lot of alchemy circumstances in your life. And this was to teach you how to balance feeling good in an environment that was bad, having uh, the discernment to know that, that people have low frequency energy and you can still feel good around them. That's how powerful you are, but you don't have to be in that environment. So you're learning to have wisdom, discernment with people, but you're also learning that, yes, you will find yourself in certain situations that are gonna make you feel bad or maybe contribute to feeling bad. You know, certain things happen that don't really pan out the way we would like them to, and that can create a bad feeling. You're learning that you, in this next level, you have the power to have the authority over how you feel. So where something can make you feel bad. And we also have 11 here. And 11 is very significant. If you guys are seeing 11, 11 or 111, pay attention to the moment that you're seeing it more so rather than the number. But whereas in the past, something made you feel bad, it could have taken you maybe days to get over it. Now it'll take you hours, some of you minutes. And this is just really having power and authority 
over how you feel. Now, this is not to say that you don't um, allow yourself in to ex kind of experience these low moments because you will, deck three. I'm definitely sensing a highly s spiritual being, a leader, and you will have these moments where you will go down into these dips of feeling bad and they're really to truly teach you things in that <laughs> yeah thank you spirit some of these low places that you go to and you're like how did i get here again how do i find myself sometimes it's to resonate with others it's for you to learn the lesson to teach some of your teachers i'm hearing okay so and and even for your family or friends like there are many many things you're learning that you will teach others Let's see, anything else here? And who they're becoming? Love. So love is playing a huge, huge part in your life right now. Some of you um, who are going through transitions in your love life, you are also learning just that you are love. So with love, you're learning a lot about love. Some of you have families, some of you are already married in, in relationships, some of you. But there are others of you who are going through a transition and attracting better relationships as you're acknowledging your self-worth and how much you're really worth okay imagine that you know the past three years you were mislabeling your price tag okay let's just say this was actually you and you were worth a thousand dollars but you have been labeling it as 10.99 so now that you're aware, like you're going through the spiritual awakening right now of just being aware of how much you really are worth. And, and some of you relied on others to tell you, but they couldn't see your worth because they couldn't see their own worth. And so it's like, you've been labeling yourself the wrong way, the wrong price, devaluing yourself. I guess you can say not in a bad way. We all do this. We're all going through certain shifts and levels and in, in, in integrations of desiring more. Okay, because we're worthy of that. And so with this, the first thing is that you have to be aware that you're actually valued at a thousand. And I'm only saying a thousand because that's a small, you know, that's a small number and, you know, working our way up. Because if I would have said something that's out of reach, I definitely feel like you're going to certain levels of value. It's like just taking you up a different level every year of more finances in your life, more value in your life. And it's also coming in context with loving yourself. Loving yourself is saying, okay, wait a minute, let me go ahead and see, take some time to see if my value is more than what I've been placing it. Once you see that awareness, then you can go back and change the price. But the really cool part is the next level that you guys are going to with the community, the birds here, is that now you will attract customers or people who are also valuing themselves at a thousand. So now you attract those type of people in your life, people who see themselves as valuable, who um, are beautiful beings, you know, they're compassionate, they're loving, and they attract a lot of abundance in their life because of how worthy they feel. And so it, it's just a light that you will carry. And so it's like a standard the standard for you is raising, the bar is raising, okay? And this also makes you feel good about yourself. The more you're valued, the better you will feel about yourself. But if I were to give you the highest truth, it would be that you were priceless, but you're working your way up to each level of worth, worthiness. So I'm definitely sensing that has to do with a lot of your love. And it says you heal with the power of love. So the fastest way, the easiest way to heal is just to simply be gentle with yourself, love on yourself, laugh, have fun. You deserve to enjoy. That's something I'm hearing too. So some of you, I'm, I'm seeing something is getting ready to shift here. We have the nine of swords. Why is this here? Okay, two of swords, some decisions that had to be made. Okay, and we have the star in reverse. We have Aquarius energy here. Let's see what else your energy is for the next phase. Yeah, we have the third chakra, solar plexus chakra. We have the world. Okay, some of you could have a decision to make. Some of you could be departing to get a new fresh start. Um, and that could be literal or symbolically um, departing. Ace of coin so i definitely see something is coming in yeah i was i was feeling a lot of heavy energy for your finances here it's a lucky day new resources of money time or support a change in a job or promotion so something is shifting in your career right now let's see what else we have 
This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Let's get some clarity on why this is here. So we have some situations that, yeah, you're going to be unbound from. Clip the cords is what I'm hearing. It's time to clip the cords, anything that's heavy, so that your vibration can raise. And as it's raising, you'll have more clarity on some of these situations. Why is the five of Michael here? Yeah. So I definitely feel like you're going to get some sort of communication here. Um to kind of understand this and this is also not it doesn't have to be a, a person or a situation i'm definitely sensing it could be some of your thoughts that you're having let's see what else is here for the five of michael i'm definitely feeling like it's your mind yeah beyond delusion yep so you do have success here with the ripeness and what is the struggle with deck three lovers yeah <laughs> i figured it's this emotional you get caught up in these emotional things um you're learning to have balance you're really learning to have balance here and it's duality so i'm sensing even with letting go of certain thoughts it's like let go of the thoughts that no longer serve you and be open to thoughts that make you feel better okay so it doesn't matter how dreamlike the thought is, it's still going in a better direction. And so, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that you're getting tied into a lot of, it could be just, you know, pouring into others more than yourself, believing in others, you know, maybe working for other people and believing in their dream more than you do yours. It could be a multitude of things, but I'm sensing that it's, it's an emotional um, factor on your finances and how you feel about yourself. And now you're learning to have your own opinion about yourself, okay? With the even with the solar plexus chakra, so it says, as you look for a better feeling way to approach whatever you are giving your attention to, as you continue to ask yourself from your ever changing vantage point, what is it that I do want? Eventually, you'll be standing in a very pleasantly place, for you cannot continually ask yourself what it is that you do want without your point of attraction being the pivotal in that direction. The process will be gradual, but your continued application of the process to focus on what you do want will yield wonderful results in only a few days. Some of you I'm hearing hours. Those of you who are on my last webinar called the turning your ideas into profit, where I said a few of you were going to be receiving $10,000 in the next 30 days. Well, three people have already reached out. I'm getting ready to post those screenshots on my Instagram. Once I line up the video where we were talking about feeling worthy to receive more. Some of you have large, large sums of money to be received. And, and it's not just about the money I'm sensing. It's about the freedom, of course. And I'm also feeling about your experiences here. So we have five of cups, regret, eight of pentacles, practice, and eight of swords, imprisonment. Yeah. So it's in the mind here. Okay. Lots of Aquarius energy here. If you guys are on this deck, this next level is going to require you to release your limiting beliefs around anything in the world, anything in your mind, period. Um, Regret is also just the sign of thinking about what you could have done if it's too late. Some of these thoughts are definitely creating some of this feeling. Um, also, Eight of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity on all of this because these are definitely emotional shifts that I'm sensing and embracing love is something that's in your cards. Traveling, exploring. You, I'm hearing there's no house big enough for you meaning your energy is just so big. So the world is like your home for now. And it's like, <laughs> I hear a playground, have more fun, enjoy, not taking things serious, realizing we're here for a lifetime, very limited amount of time. Okay, yeah, the world, that's the second time here that we have the world card that just came out. You guys could have resonated with another deck Let's see if there's anything else. Thank you. Yeah, three of swords. So definitely just some emotional things in the heart chakra, emotional things that could have set you back, some setbacks with going forward, 
or um, some of you, it could even be with education. It doesn't have to be in just family. I'm definitely feeling a lot of that. And, and just, you know, finding your way, finding your path. And I definitely feel like you guys have already found that. Now this next stage in your life, in your soul journey is requiring you to cut the cords on what is no longer you because you may have resonated with these people's energy you know years ago but you're no longer that person and so if you do keep some of these people around you will feel like you have to i'm be a slave to that identity whether it's to family friends job and you're ever evolving you're integrating and so i'm definitely sensing you're going to be releasing some of these thoughts we have the queen here of swords twice we have hope hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one so you are having the awareness that you're the pilot of the plane you do not rely on someone else to fly your plane you're the pilot of your plane and this pilot tree is you being in authority of your life so the hope is coming from knowing that you actually are an authority and i definitely feel that you're an authority to create even more in your life Let's see what your question was. Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? We all have superpowers. That's crazy, crazy. But it's up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. The question to ask yourself is, how can I use one of my soul gifts today to contribute to this open and ready world and also I'm hearing to focus on the fun, focus on the joy. There's many of you know who you are, but there's a deeper level. And as I mentioned previously, we are ever evolving. So let's see if there's one last message for you. One last message for you. Deck three, next level in our soul journey. This is expansion. This is integration. Look at this finality endings which are also beginnings where there's an ending there's a beginning yeah determination queen of wands so you guys are going to be successful and i definitely see that you're going to prove yourself to be right taking authority and in this emperor energy also to be able to go after what you want and knowing that yes is what you want to attract that feeling of yes and you're approved that's what i keep hearing yes you're approved so, you know, you guys come back with those comments if any of this is happening, because I definitely feel like you are going to inspire others to believe in themselves, to be able to do some of the things that feel impossible to do. And it's, and I also feel like some of you are pioneers, so you will pave the path and you will be the first person to do many things in your family, around the people, in your life. And so, yeah, this is beautiful. You're definitely embracing your truest version of yourself and it, that it's just an incredible feeling to, to know. And so embrace it and allow this beauty to, to come in. So if you guys chose deck number three, I want you guys to hashtag down below to affirm this message. I am free. And this is just a sign of you being able to really see the depth of the freedom that you do have in your life. And yeah, beautiful things to come and a lot of exploration, a lot of exploration and a lot of limitless feelings. So feel good and have fun, deck number three. I am moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what is next on your soul journey. Let's take the overall theme. I remember soul plan, the faded life, versus the destiny life. So some of you guys could be experiencing deja vu or maybe will experience deja vu. Some type of symbolic message that's going to remind you of the life that you were meant to live here. It's more so of just like these revelations of enlightenment that you're gonna receive where things are just synchronized and they will feel kind of magical. And these are also just glimpses and images in your imagination of your life and destiny i'm hearing that some of you are clairvoyants you could be dreamers visionaries and i'm sensing that you have the ability to connect with this plan this soul plan that brings you the highest fulfillment here so i definitely sense that spirit is bringing you to a place of remembering who you are and the life that you were meant to live yeah for sure porto 
So doors are opening, you decide, rewards and wild cards. So this is also going to give you kind of like the revelation that you are in authority and what you decide, every decision you make opens another door. So you will always be presented with decisions and every decision creates another reality. So I definitely sense that this is some higher communication transformation. The fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace this transformation. The best is yet to come. So yeah, you guys are going through an integration in your life. We're going to get some more information on this. Okay. And this transformation, I feel like it's going to be bringing you a lot of youthful energy. Okay. Some of you could even have been spending time to yourself lately let's see what's here for deck four in the soul journey thank you definitely some decisions that must be made here definitely decisions deck four thank you yep death that flew out scorpio energy you don't have to be deck four what's next in their soul journey thank you justice libra energy a lot of people circumstances involved and a decision that must be made for justice to happen. So I'm definitely seeing that there is some type of, this seems like severings. Okay, this is part of the transformation. Okay, you're going through a transformation and it also requires you to sever relationships or separate yourself for a period of time. Let's see. Whenever I am feeling good, I am attracting good. There's no shortage of money or time. We're going to get into those. Let's see what the energy of this is. Community, yeah. So I definitely feel like you're going to have good, healthy relationships coming in. Good, healthy relationships. And so if you are severing tides, some of you who are taking your time, taking a step back, because I'm seeing there's a couple of people here. Five of Swords represents adversity, you know, really creating conflict mentally with some of these things that you're thinking about. King of Wands. Yeah. So I sense that this is also going to be a shift. So whenever you remove yourself from these certain low vibrations, I'm, I'm feeling like this is part of this transformation for you to have this wish come true. This is going to raise your vibration in, in attracting better friendships. Now, when I say better, it doesn't have to be, let's see, door to value. Yeah. Dependency, Capricorn, the higher font moral, so many signs here. We have Capricorn, we have Taurus. We have Scorpio, we have Libra energy here, okay? This seems to be an identity shift. Seeing yourself higher than which you have been. The king is in reverse and you're coming up as somebody who is here to be very passionate, someone who's here to be energetically feeling good, having good experiences. I just see a lot of conflict here that you're freeing yourself from so that you can have this wish come true. Let's see, get one more card. Your walk through life with confidence is with grace. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. So you've been attracting and could have felt like you've been attracting many things that you didn't want, many outcomes, many people. Um, but I am seeing a shift here and you guys could have already felt the shift. Some of you I'm sensing are feeling the shift already. Some of you will feel this shift again. You're, you could have been attracted to deck number three, some of you, because we talked a lot about value. Okay. And so with this door to value, I'm just sensing that there is whatever's making you feel bad must be severed and look deeper because sometimes we're like, it's the job, but it's not always the job. What about the job is it that's creating this lower feeling of feeling good? And then really take the time to do that because I'm sensing the habit is here, dependency. So the codependency is here, morals, the higher font. This is a lot of what do you believe? You know, so this feels like some beginning stages of spirituality of just maybe some of you weren't really into it or kind of, you know, you're open, but not really have dove to the depths of spirituality, because I'm definitely seeing that you're freeing yourself from some limiting beliefs around religion, um, how you feel, feeling deserving, um, 
it's universe god whichever you choose to believe this creator loves you unconditionally and i don't know why i'm saying this loves you unconditionally this isn't an entity that's in the sky with a thunderbolt ready to strike you down when you mess up or make a mistake this is an unconditional loving universe again you fill in the blank unconditional meaning no matter what if there is a condition in order to be loved that is not love look at this mine yeah so some of you are definitely coming to some realizations in your life so let's see what this is about for deck four in their soul journey yeah we have conditioning at the bottom again okay you guys are freeing yourself freeing yourself from many many beliefs what are they freeing themselves from deck four thank you sharing maturity okay fighting and nothingness yeah this is the so we have two cards here both again okay we have the higher font here twice and again i've been saying this a lot but we don't believe in coincidences so these are messages that spirit has been really trying to get to you it's your religious beliefs it's the foundation of what you believe and i'm hearing that the foundation of what you believe should be love okay and remember again love is unconditional so we have that and we also have the sharing maturity and the fighting so this is about who you're sharing your energy with having that discernment okay this is just maturity and spirituality that you're going through that's the next level in your life and it's requiring you to let go of this fight in your within your head back and forth about what you can do what you can't do let's see what this fighting is about in their head deck four for their journey okay the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups it's more about happiness planning what to do what's going to happen how to make it happen um king of swords let's get one more card for this why is the king of swords here yeah it's also financial things that are happening here with the ace of coins let's see if you had any other messages regarding finances knight of cups empathy okay and then we also have the Ace of Michael and then the Page of Raphael. I definitely see a new situation coming in for some of you guys. When I say situation, I'm, I'm not sure if it starts as a friendship or if you know this person or you're already committed to this person. Some of you could be definitely married and having to decide. Very few of you, okay? Because we do have the higher font here and I just heard that freedom is the mission here okay so remember you're freeing yourself from many things some of you can be married those of you who are single what i'm seeing is there's definitely some type of new relationship that's coming in or an emotional situation um, you'll have a good insight about this person but i also see that there is going to be some time for community here so in this next stage i do see that you're going to be surrounded by people lots of people so it could be community traveling holidays something significant is going to be happening around these times for you and i'm just seeing some uplifting energy here with the community okay a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others Okay, some of you are being called to speak, to communicate. Okay, and we're going to look at those messages. All right, is there anything else here for deck four when it comes to what they're attracting? Thank you. Projections and control. So yeah, this next level is definitely letting universe in, understanding that you are co-creating. I've been saying this a lot. Whenever I'm feeling good, I'm attracting good. So when you think a thought of unliftment, or abundance or well-being you are filled with the feeling of positive emotion you may trust the way that you feel as the indicator as to which side you are on so what they're saying is instead of thinking 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 planning thinking some of you guys have many to-do lists thinking 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 plans plans okay remembering that you are not doing this alone this is opening up that space for your guides to come in. That's what I'm sensing with your soul. And with these projections that are happening, these are projections that you're having of yourself. They could be limiting beliefs. 
And I see you breaking out of that because you're remembering slowly who you are. Now, the reason why there has been a disconnect kind of in connecting more of with your soul for you deck four and, and and again it doesn't have to be a bad disconnect this is just a slight you're in and out so you're receiving a vision but it's staticky a vision of you what you are to be here in this life and a vision of your life but it's staticky you get glimpses spirit is saying release the control of what you think open up some room for imagination and also feeling good Trust the way that you feel. So this next level is trusting the way that you feel, okay? If it makes you feel bad, question that. And some of these religious beliefs that some of you are releasing in this next level, if they make you feel bad, again, remember, bad and good. Good is God, universe. It's literally the answer. And so don't overthink this. Just know that if it makes you feel bad, it does not serve you then the belief most likely is not true. Now, feeling bad in your ego is different from feeling bad about you. So if it's an indicated direct thought um, of, around you and you know it's not true, and how do you know that is getting a deeper insight with you, then you can see that it is not the truth and that this belief does not belong to you. So that's something that's really important here too, is how you feel and not allowing um, certain beliefs to make you feel bad, okay? Because again, feeling good is what's gonna have you attracting good and God is good. Universe, again, whatever you believe. There's no shortage, shortage of time or money. There is no shortage. And any attention to shortage of something wanted will always produce a negative outcome because your guidance is letting you know that you have strayed away from abundance. Remember, you are abundant. So these are not just affirmations. These are truths. Whether you are focused upon the shortage of money or seeing yourself as having only so many years to live, and so each day that is expended is one day closer to the end, that feeling feels bad, right? I'm inserting that. That feels bad. So it says that feeling of decline is contrary to the understanding of you and so your being and who you are and what you're here to do is um, not to fear death. You are here to live every day. You're here to live. So yeah, there are some things that Spirit is going to be revealing to you um, in the next few months. Some of you, I definitely feel these shifts and transitions are just amazing. It's, it's bringing in empathy. It's bringing in people who really care about you. It's bringing in opportunities. It's also bringing in freedom and uh, freedom from some of these religious constraints. Uh, very, 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 very important for you to be able to be free. So it says a wonderful new idea. Don't let bumps in the road. So something is definitely going to happen here. We have two new beginnings, new beginning in emotions and connections and also in some type of idea that could be helping your career or be the idea or the answer to something. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Some of you guys could be married because we have justice here. Let's see if there's any messages for them really quickly. If you guys don't mind. Yeah, there's a new, there's a new perspective coming in. So I say to sit on this decision, give it time. There's a new perspective that's getting ready to come in a new idea on how to handle this situation with the ace of swords. So where am I called to use my voice right now? You have a social script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters, and it's time for you to share it with the world. Share your story with at least one person today. Be brave. Speak your truth. Your voice will be a catalyst for healing in others. Okay? So you are teaching a lot of forgiveness, understanding that forgiveness is just simply being aware of where you have been hurt and acknowledging the higher perspective of the person who did the hurt seeing that we're all going through a journey having that higher level of compassion and empathy i definitely feel like you guys are in pass for sure and this is also allowing you to share some of these stories that you guys have some of you do have tremendous stories some of you are overcoming so many things don't think it's for nothing it's definitely going to inspire and help many people the last message i have for you if you are still here is that this shortage of time and money is very, very important. 
A great exercise would be to turn off your phone maybe for a day that you really don't have anything important going on and not focusing on the time as much, just focusing on what you would feel excited to do. You'll be surprised at how much you will get done when you're not thinking about the clock. So this is also a form of attraction, law of attraction. And so if you focus on shortage or if you focus on never enough or not having enough, then this is also going to produce that reality for you. So focus your energy on having enough. And you'll know when you truly do that when you start dancing, because this is a sign that you're excited because things are coming. So dancing more and, and being excited and joy and let some of this stuff wash away. I'm just hearing that spirit's gonna come into your life. By the, by the end of the year, for some of you, spirit's coming in to wash away many of these things, okay? Lots of healing, lots of restoration. And when I say healing, it just means allowing joy and love into the equation. It's not painful healing. So this transformation is definitely gonna get you to see yourself completely different. And so it's very, very beautiful. So if you guys chose deck number four, I want you to hashtag down below, I can do it. This is just an affirmation, a sign that you believe that you can overcome any obstacle that comes in your way. You're learning strength and perseverance, and you're also learning to detach and let go, but that requires you to trust, trust that there's more for you. So this connection with the universe that's deepening is gonna give you much more insight than you can ever imagine. Thank you guys for tuning in to this pick a card reading. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, I have beautiful, amazing things to come. So can't wait to see you guys. Love and light.